a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Nick Jonas Nicholas Jerry Jonas is an American singer, songwriter, actor, and record producer. Jonas began acting in theater at the age of seven, and released his debut single in 2002. He released his eponymous debut album in 2004 to little success, though it did catch the attention of Columbia Records. Jonas opted to form a band with his older brothers, Joe and Kevin, known as the Jonas Brothers. The group released their debut studio album It's About Time through the Columbia label in 2006, which failed to achieve commercial success. After signing with Hollywood Records, the group released their self-titled second studio album in 2007, which became their breakthrough record. The band became prominent figures on the Disney Channel during this time. Gaining a large following through the network, they appeared in the widely successful musical television film Camp Rock and its sequel Camp Rock 2, the final jam as well as two of their own series, Jonas Brothers, Living the Dream and Jonas. The band's third studio album, A Little Bit Longer, saw continued commercial success for the group. The album's lead single, Burnin' Up, hit the top five on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Their fourth studio album, while still successful on the Billboard 200 chart, saw a decline in record sales. After the Jonas Brothers confirmed a hiatus, Nick formed a new band known as Nick Jonas and the Administration, who released the album Who I Am in 2010 to moderate commercial success. Thereafter, Jonas opted to focus on work in theater, and also had a recurring role on the television series Smash. The Jonas Brothers briefly reunited in 2013, though officially parted ways due to creative differences. After the group's disbandment, Jonas returned to his solo career and began work on his second studio album, signing with Island Records and releasing Nick Jonas through the label in 2014. The album entered the top 10 of the Billboard 200, while both of the album's singles entered the top 20 of the Billboard Hot 100. The project was re-released as Nick Jonas X2 in 2015. The release helped provide Jonas with a new public image, earning him the title of a sex symbol. Jonas later co-founded Safehouse Records, a record label in conjunction with Island Records and Hollywood Records. Jonas released his third studio album, Last Year Was Complicated, through the label. The project became his highest peaking entry as a solo artist on the Billboard 200, while the lead single was a top 20 hit on the Billboard Hot 100. 1992-2006, Childhood and Career Beginnings Jonas was born in Dallas, Texas, the son of Denise and Paul Kevin Jonas. Jonas' father is a songwriter, musician, and former ordained minister at an Assemblies of God Church. While his mother is a former sign language teacher and singer, Nick has a younger brother, Frankie, and two older brothers Joe and Kevin. Jonas was raised in Wyckoff, New Jersey and homeschooled by his mother. Jonas' career started when he was discovered at the age of six in a barbershop, while his mother was getting her hair cut and was referred to a professional show business manager. He began performing on Broadway at the age of seven, portraying characters such as Tiny Tim, Chip Potts, Little Jake, and Gavroche among other roles. Jonas wrote a song titled, Joy to the World, with his father while performing in Beauty and the Beast, featuring background vocals from Jonas' fellow cast members, which was featured on the compilation album Broadway's Greatest Gifts, Carols for a Cure, Volume 4. The song was later released through Eno Records to Christian Radio in 2003, serving as Jonas' debut single. The single caught the attention of Columbia Records, leading to Jonas signing with Columbia, and Eno to release his debut studio effort. Dear God, was released as the lead single from the project, followed by a re-recorded version of, Joy to the World. Jonas co-wrote songs for the album with his two older brothers, who also provided background vocals for the release. Nicholas Jonas received a limited release on September 5, 2004. The project was scheduled for a wide release in December, though was pushed back before ultimately being cancelled altogether. The new president of Columbia Records, Steve Greenberg, liked Jonas' voice on the record despite his dislike for the album. Upon hearing the song, Please Be Mine, he decided to sign Jonas and his brothers as a group. 
after being signed to Columbia. The brothers considered naming their group Sons of Jonas before settling on the name Jonas Brothers. In 2005, Jonas was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of 13. While working on their debut studio album, the band toured throughout 2005 with artists such as Jump 5, Kelly Clarkson, Jesse McCartney, The Backstreet Boys, and The Click 5 among others. The band's debut single, Mandy, was released in December 2005. The album was initially scheduled for a February 2006 release date, though executive changes at Columbia's parent company Sony led to numerous delays on the project's release. It was during this time that the group began making appearances on various Disney Channel-related soundtracks, and toured with Ali and AJ throughout 2006. The band's debut album, It's About Time, was released on August 8, 2006. The album received little backing from the label, who had no further interest in promoting the band. During its initial run, the album only received a limited release of 50,000 copies. With how the release of the record was handled, the band hoped to depart from Columbia Records and find a new label. It was later confirmed in 2007 that the group had been dropped by the label. The album went on to sell a total of 1,750,000 copies. 2007-2011 Breakthrough with Jonas Brothers and other projects Shortly following their departure from Columbia Records, it was confirmed that the Jonas Brothers had signed with Hollywood Records. While working on their new album, the group continued to gain popularity due to soundtrack appearances and promotional appearances. The group released their self-titled second studio album through Hollywood Records on August 7, 2007. The album entered the top five of the Billboard 200 in the United States, going on to sell over two million copies in the country. The group's single, SOS, became their first top 20 hit on the Billboard Hot 100, and has sold over 1.5 million copies in the country. Nick and his brothers made their acting debut on an August 17 episode of the Disney series Hannah Montana titled, Me and Mr. Jonas and Mr. Jonas and Mr. Jonas. The band performed the collaboration, We Got the Party, with lead actress Miley Cyrus, with the episode gaining over 10 million viewers and became Basic Cable's most watched series telecast ever. In May 2008, he and the band began starring in their own Disney series Jonas Brothers, Living the Dream. Jonas made his film debut along with his brothers in the Disney Channel film Camp Rock, starring alongside Demi Lovato. The film's soundtrack was released on June 17, 2008 and sold 188,000 copies in its first week of release in the United States. The movie went on to become a major hit for the network, receiving 8.86 million viewers. The band achieved further success with their third studio album, A Little Bit Longer, which became their first to debut at number one on the Billboard 200 chart. The project sold over 525,000 in its first week of release. The album went on to sell over 2 million copies in the United States, making it their second multi-platinum album. A Little Bit Longer remains the band's highest-selling effort to date. Burnin' Up served as the album's lead single, becoming the band's first top five hit in the United States. During this time, Jonas was involved in a relationship with Selena Gomez, who appeared in the song's music video. The band starred in the 3D biopic Jonas Brothers, the 3D concert experience, which received a theatrical release on February 27, 2009. The film was a financial success, and is the sixth highest grossing concert film. Jonas starred with all three of his brothers their second Disney Channel series, Jonas, which made its debut on May 2, 2009. The band released their fourth studio album, titled Lions, Vines, and Trying Times, on June 16, 2009. The project debuted at the top spot on the Billboard 200, boasting first week sales of 247,000 copies. The album failed to match the heights of their previous efforts failing to sell 1 million copies in the United States. Following the release of their fourth studio album, the Jonas Brothers confirmed that they would be taking a hiatus to focus on solo projects. While Joe chose to record a solo record, Nick opted to form the band Nick Jonas and the Administration, 
signing with Hollywood Records to release the project. The band's debut single achieved minor success in the United States, though their first studio album was seen as a commercial failure. On June 21, Jonas made his West End debut performing in Les Miserables for the second time, this time as the role of Marius Pontmercy. Jonas was originally supposed to play the role for only three weeks, but was able to extend his run until July 24, 2010, because of changes in the Jonas Brothers touring schedule. He also appeared in the 25th anniversary concert at the O2 Arena on October 3, 2010, again playing the role of Marius Pontmercy. From August 5-7, Jonas performed in the musical Hairspray as Link Larkin at the Hollywood Bowl. Jonas starred in the sequel Camp Rock 2, The Final Jam, which was a commercial success. Jonas later appeared in the 2011 series Mr. Sunshine. He played Eli White, an up-and-coming singer who wants everything his way before he performs at the Sunshine Center. He also played the role of Ryan on an episode of the sitcom Last Man Standing. 2012-2014 Jonas Brothers Split Jonas guest starred on an episode of Smash as Lyle West, a young musician and television star backing a promising Broadway musical. Jonas would later reprise the role in the show's season finale on May 14. Nick had a cameo appearance in the last episode of the second season of the comedy web series Submissions Only. Jonas was to perform in the musical How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying as J. Pierpont Finch from January 24 to July 1, 2012. Despite this, the musical ended its run on May 20. Jonas recorded five songs for the project, which was released as an extended play in 2012. The Jonas Brothers confirmed in March that work had begun on their fifth studio album. The band officially parted ways with Hollywood Records in May 2012. They purchased the rights to all of their music from the label. Despite claims that Jonas would be signing on as a judge for the 12th season of the singing competition American Idol, Jonas opted to appear as a mentor with Demi Lovato on The X Factor. Jonas made guest appearances on the television series Married to Jonas, starring his older brother Kevin and his wife. The television show also documented their return to music and the process of working on their fifth album. The Jonas Brothers released their new single, Pom Poms, on April 2 through their own record label. The music video for the song was filmed in February 2013 in New Orleans, Louisiana and premiered only on April 2, 2013. Nick was the co-host of the Miss USA 2013 competition on NBC. Jonas and his brothers performed during the event. The band released, first time, as the second single from their forthcoming album. The band cancelled their highly anticipated tour in October only days before it was set to begin, citing a deep rift within the band over creative differences, leading to speculation that the band would be parting ways. The brothers officially confirmed on October 29 that the band had split up for good. The split led to the cancellation of their comeback album, though Nick confirmed that some of the songs recorded for the project would become available for fans through an upcoming release. The band released a live album featuring five songs from their unreleased fifth studio album. Jonas Guest starred as a computer hacker on an episode of Hawaii 5 0. 2014 present, Nick Jonas and last year was complicated. With the Jonas Brothers officially broken up, Jonas began working on material for his second studio album. He worked as the musical and creative director on Demi Lovato's Neon Lights tour, overseeing video content, wardrobe, lighting and staging, and song arrangement. He joined Lovato on stage for select shows of the concert, performing three of her songs with her. Jonas went on to appear in two more episodes of Hawaii 5 and was cast in a starring role as Nate Kalina in the drama series Kingdom. The series premiered on Directors Audience Network, and was renewed for two more seasons only two weeks later. Jonas made his return to music with the release of Chains, the lead single to his second studio album. The single failed to achieve success after its release, Jealous, was later released as the album's second single, going on to become Jonas' first top 10 hit as a solo artist on the Billboard Hot 100. Jonas released his second studio album, Nick Jonas, Though Island Records on November 10, 
The album debuted at number 6 on the Billboard 200, selling over 37,000 copies in its first week of release. Following the success of Jealous and the album Chains, was re-released as the next single from the album. The single achieved commercial success, reaching the top 20 of the Billboard Hot 100 and becoming his second multi-platinum single. Jonas served as a guest mentor for Christina Aguilera on the eighth season of The Voice. He also starred in the film Careful What You Wish For, which he filmed in 2013. Jonas formed the artist-centric Safe House Records alongside Demi Lovato and Phil McIntyre, in conjunction with Island and Hollywood Records. Jonas released a new single, Levels, through the label as the lead single to the re-released version of his debut album, Nick Jonas X2. Jonas had a recurring role as Boone Clemens in the comedy horror series Scream Queens. He is credited for five episodes of the first season. Work on Jonas' third studio album began as early as 2014, prior to the release of Nick Jonas. The album was initially set to be titled Unhinged, though was changed to last year which was complicated prior to its release. Close, a collaboration with Tove Lo, was released as the album's lead single. The project was a commercial success, reaching the top 20 of the Billboard Hot 100 and becoming his third top 10 hit on the mainstream Top 40 chart. Last Year Was Complicated was released on June 10 to a generally positive reception. The album sold a total of 66,000 equivalent album units in its first week of release, entering the Billboard 200 chart at number 2. This marks his highest peaking effort as a solo artist to date. Bacon has been serviced as the second single from the album. Nick's contributions as a songwriter led to him receiving the honor of the Hal David Starlight Award in the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Jonas embarked on a co-headlining Future Now tour alongside Demi Lovato on June 29, and continued on the tour until the tour's final concert on September 17. Jonas also starred in the drama film Goat alongside James Franco. Released on September 23, he participated in Rap Battle with Kevin Hart on October 27. On May 26, 2017, Jonas released the single, Remember I Told You, which features British singer-songwriter Ran Murray and American singer and producer Mike Bosner. Jonas released the song, Find You, on September 14, 2017. Jonas contributed to the Ferdinand soundtrack with the song, Home, released on October 20. The song was nominated for the Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song. In an August 2018 interview with Teen Vogue, Jonas announced the impending release of a collaboration with Robin Schultz titled, Right Now, which he co-wrote with Skylar Grey. In August 2018, it was announced that Jonas had joined the cast of the animated film Ugly Dolls alongside Kelly Clarkson and Pitbull. It is scheduled to be released on May 10, 2019. Public Image During the early stages of their career, the Jonas Brothers were seen as role models and teen idols by their fans, and drew much media attention when they made the decision to begin wearing purity rings during their time on the Disney Channel. Though he has stated that the rings helped shape his view of sex, Nick felt his faith became more about his personal relationship with God. He claimed in 2016 that all of the youth at their church had been asked to wear them, thus he didn't have a full understanding of what the ring meant. Jonas has more recently earned the title of a sex symbol following a string of provocative photo shoots. Jonas has often rejected the title, claiming, I don't really consider myself a sex symbol. If someone wants to give me that title, that's fine, but I don't say these words about myself. I just try to be humble, make sexy music and push the envelope a little bit. Jonas was featured on OK's list of 2014 Sexiest Men Alive, while his photo shoot for Flaunt was listed on their most memorable naked moments list. He was ranked at number 10 on People's Sexiest Men Alive list in 2015. He was ranked in sixth place on Capital FM's list of sexiest men in pop during 2016. Jonas' new public image has led to him receiving a large fan following in the LGBT community, a fact he claims to be thrilled about. Some of Jonas' interviews and comments have drawn criticism as being gay pandering, though Jonas had denied these claims. Jonas was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes at the age of 13 and uses an insulin pump to help him manage his condition. 
he has developed the Change for the Children Foundation. Partnering with five different charities, their goal is to raise money and awareness for diabetes. He also developed a public service announcement with the Washington Nationals to support diabetes care at Children's National Medical Center in Washington, D.C. Since August 6, 2008, Bayer Diabetes Care has partnered with Jonas as a diabetes ambassador to promote the idea for young people to manage their diabetes. Jonas testified in the U.S. Senate to promote more research funding for the condition. In 2010, Nick further volunteered his efforts for Do Something by offering his time as a prize to teens who donated genes to Do Something in Era Post Tales, Teens for Genes, campaign. Further, Nick filmed another PSA, this one in support of Do Something's Battle of the Bands campaign for the advancement of music education in schools. Nick is also a member of the National Youth Leadership Committee for the Ronald Reagan Centennial Celebration, along with Jordan Sparks, Genevieve Ryan, and Brody Conover. He proposed to Indian actress Priyanka Chopra in London on her birthday on July 18, 2018, and the couple celebrated their engagement in Mumbai on August 18, 2018. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?